What is up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So the time has finally come for me to do my Lululemon collection video. You all have been asking for this for quite a while now and honestly I've been putting it off because I just knew that it would take a really long time for me to put together. So procrastination at its finest. But I finally did it and I'm so excited to share it with you. Before we get started, I feel like we should address the elephant in the room. So Lululemon is expensive. Yes, I am aware. I'm sure that even though I say this as a disclaimer, I'm still gonna get comments about the amount of money spent on everything in this video, but I'm still just gonna say I'm aware you don't need to point it out, you really don't. But I personally wanna point out that I've been shopping at Lululemon for over seven years. I'm also an employee there, so I've had quite some time to accumulate things. And a lot of things I don't pay full price for. Here in Washington, we also have some Lululemon outlets. I get stuff at the outlets sometimes. Sometimes I go up to Canada where it's cheaper to buy Lulu because of the exchange rate. Also. I pretty much always ask for Lululemon for any birthday or Christmas or like any occasion a gift is given, I ask for Lululemon. So I'm sorry, sue me. But it's just what I like. I live in the clothes, I love the clothes, so yeah. Another thing I'll point out before we hop into the video, you're gonna see a lot of black, a lot of gray, and a lot of repeat items. I'm a pretty basic gal, and if I find something I like, I basically will just get it in every color that I like, which at the moment is like black and gray and earth tones. So I'm sorry that my wardrobe isn't super bright and colorful and exciting. It's just like not what I'm into right now. I actually used to have a lot of neon and super bright colored Lulu items back like, I don't know, five years ago, but I'm just not really into that anymore. So my mom gets all my hand-me-downs. So she's got quite the eclectic wardrobe of Lululemon herself. Last thing, I'm gonna try to list all of the item names and color codes of everything in the video, but I probably won't be able to find them all because I just didn't pay as much attention to the, the names of the items and the color codes and stuff like that before I started working at Lulu. So I'm gonna try my best, but it might not be completely perfect. Some of the items in my collection that you'll see in this video are no longer offered by Lulu, but if they are, I will link them in the description box below and there will be all my other links in there. My measurements are down there. I'm sure people are gonna ask. I usually wear a size four in almost everything Lulu. Sometimes I'll size up in the shorts to like a six. Occasionally I'll size down in a shirt to, to a two, but typically I wear a size four in everything. Also, one last thing, I'm not gonna be going into super in-depth descriptions about each item and the fabric and stuff like that. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about the fabric and what I wear items for and stuff like that, I would recommend watching my Lululemon top eight must have items video, which I'll like put the little link up here for you. That video, I go into depth much more to kind of explain everything about why I wear what items for what type of exercise and the fabrics and how they fit and how they're supposed to feel and all that good stuff. So thanks for listening to that little intro. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so we're gonna start off with leggings. Everyone's personal favorite from Lululemon, I would say. So you're gonna see here that my favorite legging from Lululemon is the Wonder Under. I like the Wonder Under in Luan fabric the most. I just feel like it's the most comfortable. So that is my ultimate favorite. My favorite length is the 7 8 length. So you're gonna see quite a bit of 7 8 length Luan Wonder Unders. I always get high rise as well. I'm not really into low rise to be honest. I feel like high rise is just way more flattering. Keep in mind that my preferred method of exercise is lifting weights. So I buy stuff that I can either wear to work and just be comfortable wearing around, like kind of look sporty but normal, or stuff that I can lift weights in. I will sometimes do cardio, but I'm really not much of a runner, so I don't have a lot of running stuff. I mostly just buy stuff that is comfortable for me to lift weights in.
I would say my second favorite Lululemon pant is the All The Right Places pant, which you're seeing right here. These ones are in the Luxstream fabric and they have pockets, which is super nice and convenient. I talk about these a little bit more in the Lululemon Top 8 Essential Items video, which I mentioned. Here we have the beloved Align Pant. Gotta love these. These are so, so comfortable, but I will say be careful. They are definitely made for low impact exercise and they're a very delicate fabric. So if you end up wearing them for something other than what they're intended for, they're made specifically for yoga, by the way. If you wear something that they're not intended for, they may show signs of wear way more easily than any of the other fabrics. So these ones right here are not offered anymore, but they're super, super similar to the fast and free type. They're in the New Lux fabric, which is a mixture of Luxstream and Nulu. Nulu is the Align Pant fabric, by the way. These are super, super soft and moisture wicking and a little bit better for doing something like cardio than it would be to do it in an Align Pant. Getting into the joggers now, this jogger is in the new Lou fabric, which is what the Align Pant is made out of. So super soft and comfortable. I have been obsessed with joggers this year, so I definitely have been adding a lot to my collection. This next one is Rulu fabric. Rulu is super, super soft and warm, so it's perfect for winter time. These joggers right here are the Ready to Rulu pant. They are my all time favorite jogger and they are not available anymore, but they bring these back. So come fall, I would definitely start looking around for these if you're interested. I get questions about them all the time. So definitely keep your eyes peeled this fall and winter because they will probably make a comeback in the stores. I also do love these joggers because they are so high rise. So I can wear a lot of shorter crop tops with them because they come up over my belly button. So these are the on the fly pants. These are probably the only thing, actually no, there's a short too, but these are one of the only mid, mid rise, kind of like mid to low rise items I still have in my closet. I transitioned everything low rise out of my closet like Two year, one to two years ago because once I started wearing high rise I realized that was way more comfortable and way more flattering on my body but I do still like these a lot they're just very casual and comfortable but you can also dress them up a lot of people actually wear them to work and kind of dress them up with like heels and like a nicer blouse on top but they're so so comfortable and they're in the Luxstream fabric as well Moving on to shorts, these are the high rise speed shorts. These are probably my favorite Lululemon shorts that I have. I have the low rise speed shorts as well, which you'll see, and I just never reach for them anymore because I have the high rise one. They do have built in underwear, which is not incredibly necessary for me since I'm not much of a runner, but they are one of my favorites. These are the on the fly shorts, which I am obsessed with because there's no built-in underwear, no built-in liner. It's just your butt in the fabric. <laughs> it's really, really nice and soft and comfortable. These of course are just basically the shorter version of the on the fly pants. I feel like they're fun. You can dress them up or down. And these ones you can actually wear a little bit higher rise than the on the fly pant in my opinion.
Moving on to sports bras. I'm really all about sports bras that are supportive. It might not look like it, but I'm a C to D cup. So I have like just enough that I can't wear the low impact bras comfortably because they just don't really give me enough support. So most of the bras in here are pretty supportive for a C to D cup. I love this scoop back of this bra. It's really nice to wear with like open back tops. I love that this one's higher neck so you can wear it with higher neck tops and it's still really fun and pretty in the back. The energy bra is one that I mentioned in my top eight Lululemon essential items video. It's been around forever and I'm assuming, hopefully, it'll be staying forever. This one is just a staple basic sports bra and I've been wearing them for years. Do you guys love my color palette for sports bras here? I just, I can't get enough black sports bras because black just goes with everything, you guys. This one is actually from the Lululemon Lab, which is up in Vancouver. I believe there's also one in New York City, and there might be one other one. But the Lulu Lab, they don't offer stuff online. It's just in the store. It's a little bit nicer and pricier, but you can find some really cool items in there. This next bra is also from the Lululemon Lab, and it's almost like a bralette. Like, I don't think I would ever exercise in this, but I just kind of wear it around, like, day to day. So up next, I actually have a couple swimsuit tops. Most of these double as a sports bra. As you can see, this one is pretty sporty looking. Most Lulu swim tops are meant to be supportive. Like you can actually surf or play around, do beach volleyball, stuff like that, because they're supposed to be cute, but also functional. A lot of Lululemon stores don't offer the swim items in the store, but you can always order it online and return it to a store if it doesn't work for you. Next we have some sports bras that kind of double as crop tops. These are super nice because it's kind of like a two in one and I'm super into a lot of this high neck stuff. I just find that it's more supportive and it's really nice like if I do go and do a spin class or a yoga class or something like that where I'm going to be doing like downward facing dog or like bending over a, a spin bike or something. I don't feel like I'm just like dropping everything out for the world to see. So these tops I've talked about in a favorites video before. They're super fun and convertible. You can tie them in the back or the front. I prefer the back because I think open backs are super, super cute. So I got two of these guys, naturally. This is also another one of my absolute favorite tops because it's high neck and flowy, but then it's open in the back. I just love stuff that shows off your back because let's be honest, your back never gets bloated like your stomach does. Anyway, these are super, super breezy and comfortable and I just love them. Moving on to some crop tops. So this is a cool racer back crop top, which I don't think they offer online anymore, but the next one is actually a cool racer back that I just had hemmed into a crop top. There's complimentary hemming for most Lululemon items. If you didn't know that, definitely take advantage of it. If there is a top that you have that you don't like anymore, you can kind of alter it into a crop top to make it new and exciting for you. I did the same thing with these tank tops. They were just super, super loose and billowy, which I wasn't into. So I had them hemmed to be shorter and I end up tying them in the back in just a cute little knot back there. And then it's just like a new little crop top. So that's a super fun, Fun fact, if you didn't know that, definitely something to take advantage of. So up next, we have a couple convertible shirts. I'm all about anything that you can tie up 
as you can probably already tell. So these singlets are super, super fun because you can wear them loose and flowy or you can tie them up into a little crop top. This top actually has a built-in bra, so it's attached to the tank top. Lululemon used to do a lot more of the, these, but they don't do them so much anymore. They can be a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie, because they can get kind of tangled up and it's hard to figure out how to get into them when they do, but it's still really cute and I like the whole concept of it. Okay, moving on to cool racer backs. A cool racer back I also mentioned in my Lululemon Essential Items video. These tops are just a great simple tank top. You can wear them to work out and you can also wear them as a kind of basic tank. So I have a lot of these. The Love Tank is a great option if you want something a little bit looser and more casual to kind of just wear around. It's made with Pima cotton, so it's definitely a casual tank top. I typically don't really work out in these. They're just kind of comfy and I just wear them around. This top I've also mentioned in a favorites video in the past as well because again, it's convertible, which I love. They can be low cut in the front or you can wear it low cut in the back. So I just love having options and it's super fun to be able to wear a shirt a couple different ways. So this top I also mentioned in my Lululemon Essentials video. The fabric is super, super cool. Here I was telling you that I wasn't gonna talk about fabric and here I am talking about fabric. <laughs> but it's silver essent, meaning that there's silver woven into the fabric, so it's antimicrobial, anti-stink. They make these in a tank top and a t-shirt and the long sleeve. I only have the long sleeves because I just like the way that they fit better than the tank tops and the short sleeves. This is also what a lot of the men's items are made out of because men kind of sweat a little bit more and are typically a little bit stinkier than us. Moving right along, we are getting into sweatshirts and jackets. If you couldn't tell, I'm a fan of crop stuff. So anything crop, I snag immediately. And then I just like things that are kind of tight, but also taper. I love it if it tapers in at the waist and kind of just gives you that hourglass figure. This is the Define jacket. I actually used to not really like these very much, but now I'm kind of into them. So this is my only Define jacket, but I'm slowly learning to love it. Fun fact about this bomber, it is reversible. A lot of the bombers and jackets that you'll see released in like the fall winter time are reversible, which is super fun because like I said, if you can wear it two ways, it's like getting more bang for your buck. You're getting like two jackets in one. So I absolutely love this bomber. So this is my only scuba jacket. The scuba hoodie is a very, very popular lemon hoodie, but I just don't really like it on me personally. But for some reason, I liked this one. It's made with glide fabric which is water repellent, which is super nice living in Seattle because a lot of times it'll be drizzling, but it's not exactly like pouring rain. So this is perfect because I can wear it out when it's drizzling and the water just slides right off. Moving on to accessories. So I only have a couple Lululemon bags. I love this little tote bag. It's great for travel because it's collapsible. It's super similar to the Longchamp bags. Longchamp, I don't know how to pronounce it, my bad. 
but yeah they're great for travel and they're also definitely water repellent as well this is my little gym bag it's honestly a little bit on the small side I have a growing collection of gym gear so I might be investing in a bigger bag soon but for now this little one works for me pretty well Last but not least, we have shoes. So these are APLs. It's actually not a Lululemon branded shoe. It is a partnership that Lululemon started with APLs. So they sell APLs in the store. They're a really good running shoe, so I hear. Again, I'm not a runner, but I do wear them to work almost every day and I'm on my feet for six to seven hours and they are very, very comfortable for that period of time. So there you have it, you guys. That is my Lululemon collection. I hope I didn't bore you too much. I know I have a lot of the same items just in different prints, but I just stick to what I know and like, you guys. I don't know, why ruin a good thing? So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have more ideas for me of what you would like me to film or make videos of, please let me know. I would love some suggestions. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.